In today's video, I will be discussing the contributing scientists and experiments which led to the discovery of the genetic code, a three-letter combination of nucleotides that translate genetic information into living cells. Nuremberg and Mattei were the first scientists to determine that there was a specific RNA sequence that coded for a specific amino acid. In their 1961 experiment, Nuremberg and Mattei combined the homeomonomer, poly-U, with free cell extract to determine which amino acid was incorporated in the poly-U chain. In their experiment, Nuremberg and Mattei added a poly-U chain to a test tube with cell-free extract and individually added each amino acid with one being radioactive. The scientists then incubated the test tube at 37 degrees Celsius to allow a precipitate protein to form. Next, they filtered the precipitate protein and checked for radioactivity. Nuremberg and Mattei repeated the procedure 20 times, allowing each amino acid to be radioactive. From this, the scientists discovered that poly-U produced a protein chain of radioactive phenylalanine. In an effort to learn more, Nuremberg and Mattei repeated the entire experiment three more times with a poly-A chain, a poly-C chain, and a poly-G chain. From these three experiments, Nuremberg and Mattei found that poly-A chains form a protein with lysine and poly-C chains form a protein with proline. However, unlike the poly-A and poly-C chain experiments, Nuremberg and Mattei had no success in finding poly-G chain codons. In the end, Nuremberg and Mattei discovered three codons with UUU, representing the codon for phenylalanine, AAA representing the code for lysine, and CCC representing the code for proline. Later on, in 1964, Nuremberg and Leder continued the work of Nuremberg and Mattei's experiment and identified the remaining 61 codons. Nuremberg and Leder synthesized short mRNAs that had different codon combinations and then added them to a mixture of ribosomes and tRNAs attached to amino acids. Nuremberg and Leder allowed the tRNAs to bind to the ribosome and codon, similarly repeating this process with different radioactive amino acids to determine which amino acid would bind to the ribosome. If the tRNA was bound to the ribosome, then the compound, compound was caught by a filter paper. If the tRNA with the radioactive amino acid did not bind, it would pass through the filter paper. From this technique, Nuremberg and Leder discovered the remaining 61 codons.